agree to is that you did not get here by yourselves, right? It's not just the 10 of you and me in a conference room on campus doing this, right? You invited your families to be with you. And so why don't you take a minute and family members, parents, grandparents, siblings, whoever's here, the, the visitors, stand up so that these graduates can thank you for your support. And so graduates, when you leave BW, you need to make sure as you go out into the world, you support others, right? Because you wouldn't be here without other people. And we don't have faculty with us this morning. We do have our provost with us who represents our faculty. Uh, if you have an opportunity before you pack up and leave campus, thank as many faculty members as you can. Thank your coaches. Where's Tony? Tony's here somewhere. Tony, I'm, I'm sure there will come a time for the team to thank you for what you have done. But on behalf of the university, thank you for leading this fine group of men. And so, gentlemen, you came to BW. Did all of you come as freshmen? No? Transferred in? What year did you transfer in? Junior? So 2022? Last year, all right. So you came to BW kind of after COVID, right? The other nine of you, you got here right as we were trying to figure it out, right? And what BW did was, as you know, we stayed open, right? We stayed open, we had classes in person. We tried to give you the best BW experience we could in an incredibly challenging environment. You responded. You stepped up, you were resilient, you showed determination to, to go against whatever, whatever was outside of your control. COVID, life will have lots of things you are unable to control. COVID was one of those. But you showed that even in the face of something that was not able to be controlled, you didn't let it stop you. You continued. You did the hard work. You continued as a team to excel. You excelled in the classroom. Otherwise, <laughs> otherwise the provost would have said to me, John, <laughs> Not you. <laughs> you, don't, you don't get to grad. <laughs> John's family, don't take it personally. <laughs> he just happens to be the first one alphabetically today. It's OK. It, it wasn't like on the edge or anything like that. Um, but clearly, you excelled in the classroom as well. And so here we are today, right? So let's get to it. The faculty, so the way the process works right, at BW, the faculty have to certify that each one of you is prepared for graduation that you have fulfilled the requirements and that the degree that you're being awarded is a valid degree for you. The faculty have done that for each one of you. Then it goes to the provost, to Dr. Sutton. Dr. Sutton reviews, acknowledges, yes, everyone is certified to graduate. Two weeks ago, I took the graduating class to the Board of Trustees and I asked them to authorize the bestowing of degrees upon our graduates. And so the board voted unanimously that all 10 of you, along with the other 600 some this afternoon, are ready to graduate from BW. And so let's get to the heart of the matter. Gentlemen, please stand up. Gentlemen, upon the recommendation of the provost of the university, the certification of the faculty, and the approval of the board of trustees of Baldwin Wallace University, and by virtue of the authority vested in me by the state of Ohio, it is my pleasure to confer your degrees with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities thereto appertaining. Gentlemen, congratulations. You have graduated from Baldwin Wallace University. Anyone know what the word appertaining means? Because I'm not sure I do. <laughs> I, I was counting this morning. I think this is my 40th commencement as a president. And every commencement, I say the same thing. With all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities thereto appertaining. It sounds really fancy, really formal. It must mean something like associated with. So gentlemen, we're going to start, I think, with you, John. Our provost is going to call the names. John, you know how to lead the group. Gentlemen, you can just follow right after John. And again, fam parents, family members, if you want to come close, if you, 
If you want to come up the ramp, whatever you want to do. Um, we can certainly take pictures afterwards, but whatever you want to do, this is a, this is a great opportunity. Okay, so Dr. Sutton is going to call the names. Dr. Rashid, our Vice President for Student Affairs, who oversees athletics, is going to present me with the diplomas, and then I will hand them to the graduates. Good morning, everyone. It is my great pleasure on behalf of the faculty of Baldwin Wallace University to present these students who are now graduates of the Baldwin Wallace University. John Mead Bartolotto, School of Business, Bachelor of Arts. Noah J. Bartos, Bachelor of Science, College of Arts and Sciences. Hunter Anthony Bohm, College of Arts and Sciences, Bachelor of Science. And a former student of mine, Kean B. Howery, Bachelor of Arts, College of Arts and Sciences. William Richard Lash, Bachelor of Arts, School of Business. <laughs> Reese Thaddeus Leach, Bachelor of Science, College of Education and Health Sciences. <laughs> and another former student of mine, Samuel Joseph Lopiccolo, Bachelor of Arts, School of Business. <laughs> Jacob Stephen Nanoski, Bachelor of Arts, School of Business. <laughs> Nicholas William Spotty, Bachelor of Arts, School of Business. Rounding out this outstanding crew, Keaton Sean Trout, Bachelor of Arts, College of Arts and Sciences. Congratulations to all of our special lacrosse graduates. All right, congratulations, gentlemen. Now you get my 30-second speech on being extraordinary, because you've came to BW, you have a BW degree, we believe that your experience here has been extraordinary, and I hope, I hope that's true for each one of you. In the classroom, with the coach, on the field, wherever you've been, I hope it's been an extraordinary experience. But what we expect is, as graduates of BW, that you go out and do extraordinary things. When I think of the alumni of our university, we have space shuttle commanders that are BW alums. We have CEOs. We have Broadway stars. We have school teachers. We have nurses. We have accountants. We have graduates in every field in our country. And our hope is that you take the experience here, you go out into the world, and be extraordinary make a difference wherever you are. You've clearly made a difference on our campus because here we are, 9 o'clock Saturday morning of commencement, and we're together, right? So you've clearly already made a difference here. Go do the same as you leave BW. That's, that's the request. And then, because this is your alma mater, come back. Come back from time to time. Come back for homecoming. Come back and cheer on the men's lacrosse team in the future. Come back and tell us what you're doing so that we can continue to celebrate with you. So I thank you for having chosen BW, for having been here, for having made a difference on our campus, for having made us better. And on behalf of the university, I wish you all the best as you continue your life, your career, 
And our hope is at the end of it all, you look back and you say, that was a life well lived, a life well lived. So thank you everyone for coming out early on a Saturday morning. Congratulations to the families. Thank you for sharing your students with us these past one year or four years. And uh, on behalf of BW, I wish you all a great day ahead. Celebrate, not too much, gentlemen, not, not until after the, after the five o'clock, um, and make us proud this afternoon, all right? All right. This concludes our very formal commencement ceremony. Um, I do think we want to, Tony, we want to do a picture of the team, right? Anybody hear a word he said? <laughs> that was a good try, Tony. I always think coaches should project. All right, we're going to do a picture with the graduates, and then I think we'll get the rest of the team up. We'll do a picture with the rest of the team, and then families, wherever you want pictures, it's yours.